Nisbell 2! An electric boogaloo! Okay, hang on, let's try the Volt Bite! And you, do your leap slash thing that's always really cool to watch. You know, Ayla, you're, made of, you're clearly made of some very tough stuff if you can get struck by lightning, and instead of getting hurt by it, you just, you know, absorb it and use its power for your own purposes. That's pretty amazing, Ayla, not gonna lie. Defense power up when attacked. Okay, so I gotta keep using electric attacks. I can do that. You're doing the exact same move that that one dude did way back at the beginning of the game. You know, the giant, that giant zip bug thing. Don't you dare tackle my friends. Also, seriously, are you just freakishly weak? Because nothing seems to be hurting me nearly as much as it did before. Whatever. Frog, use your heal magic just to be on the safe side. Bada bing, bada boom, ton of damage. Power defense decreases, always good. I guess I'll just keep using lightning-based magic. That way his defense will just keep falling down and down and lower and lower and nothing bad will ever happen. Oh, and now he's doing this. It's a pretty lame attack, dude, not gonna lie. It's like, oh, I just randomly, you know, run around like a doofus. Lame. And another electrocharged Dela attack. and two damage. Holy crud cakes. That is impressive. Now if his defense is just going to keep getting lower and lower, I guess this fight's just not going to be much of a problem now, is it? Release the lore. Oh, wait, no, he can totally do that. I forgot that he does that. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that hurt a lot. You're a jerk and I hate you. Okay, fine. Then it's time for some healing magic. It's really weird looking, but it's also very effective, so I guess that's all that really matters. Someone please explain to me what on earth that's supposed to even be. So, Chrono, do you really need to jump into the middle of the screen to perform that ability? Seems a bit silly. That's our priest. Always good. Waiting. He's gonna charge at us like a doofus. What a jerk. Okay. So what if he can shoot out all the electricity that we throw into him? I do not give no dangs. And, um, no, we don't really need to heal, so I guess... I don't know, water, I guess. Why not? Why not? That is a Pokemon. How much health does this stupid fool have? I've been doing damage in the thousands. In the thousands, man. Defense power up with attack. Yep, only electric attacks actually manage to do anything worth noting. That is interesting. Fine, another Volt Bite it is. And I guess, Frog, you just keep on rocking the heal duty, I guess. Because why not? Just choose on a dinosaur. How tough do you gotta be? I'll give you this, Nisbell 2. You're much more powerful than Nisbell 1 was, but that's really not saying much. And now you're releasing the Exorcist. Fantastic! Ow! What a jerk. Although, that seems to be the only thing that really works in this particular battle, so I guess I'll just keep doing it. More Volt Bites! I'm perfectly aware of running out of magic. That was lame. Frog, keep on healing. I imagine this is probably not the most interesting fight in the world to watch, but it's an RPG. Sometimes that's just the way things work. Oh, hey, I won. Goodbye, Nisbell 2. Hopefully there will never be a Nisbell 3. Attack of the, the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Nisbell 3 and Revenge of the Sith. Yes, that sounds accurate. Okay, probably best to use a shelter and, uh, you know, save up and the like. Because that quite took a bit out of us, I got to say. Unnatural selection? Ha! <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of awesome. Okay. Kudos to the, I guess, possibly the translators. Very few things in the actual Japanese text get... I mean, the, the core story does. But a lot of miscellaneous dialogue. That sort of stuff gets censored like mad. Because I guess Japan has much looser restrictions on their rating system than Americans do. Because Ayla says and does a couple things that, um, are a little PG-13. <laughs> Just saying. But we, don't, we wouldn't know that. And Chrono learns life. I'm not sure what that does. Is that reviving magic? Chrono, did you straight up learn some reviving magic? Bring Ally back to life. Holy cow, I didn't even know Chrono could learn that. Weird. And a giant dinosaur fell on my head, and I don't seem to be bothered by that. Okay. Just use normal lightning abilities and slash up its face. Don't need to use the big gun magics. That's only useful when, you know, there's a large group of dinosaurs. 
again, I have to wonder why electricity is the dinosaur's weakness. You'd think it would be fire. No, not fire. Fire wouldn't be it. It would definitely maybe ice. You know, because of the ice age and the like. Uh, oh, even more. Okay. <laughs> you thought this battle was done. You are incorrect in this assumption. Let's see. Ayla, do you know any... No, I guess you don't. Fine, then just use your cat attack. That's always fun to watch. It's like Volt... It's like the Volt Bike, except without the electrical attack. Reused animations. Still, the effect they have on her when she is electrocharged is pretty dang cool looking. Bada boop, bada bing. Why are these all... Why are these reptiles... Why are these reptiles attacking us? Why can't we live in harmony? We could pool our resources and be the ultimate people. But no, war is the only solution when it comes to two differing ideal points. Oh great, three buttons. Is it this button? No, it's not that button. That's not that button either. Um, is it this button? No, it is not, and that was funny as hell. Must be this button. Oh, lame. Okay, can I go back up here? And then press this button? Or is it randomized? No. Wait, that's just another save point? Oh, for the first time I can just open up the dinosaur face. Okay. A little weird, but alright. I'll just leave this weird place. And I imagine... Please don't let there be more dinosaurs dropping down. Okay. Phew! Oh, I wouldn't want that to respond to... Azala! You fiend! So, you are here at last. This is it then, the showdown. Today there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the reptiles or you silly apes who end up ruling the world? Strong survive. Ayla strong, Ayla fight. Huh. Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon become the best of friends. Coward! How dare you do a jump flip over your throne into the other room? Fiend! Let me grab these items and then- Wait, what's a Kara Trooper? What is a Kara Trooper? That is a weird item. Hang on, no. That was weird. Where is this thing I found? Kara- Oh! A Sarah Topper? It's a helmet? Okay. Can Ayla wear a helmet? Yes, she can! Okay. Problem solved! Alright, what is this so- This so acclaimed thing? Oh, that is a very giant gargoyle. Nope. Nope. Okay, I guess I don't really have a choice. That That is actually quite intimidating. Kudos to Azala. Red star. Fall! Stain the earth red! Ah, I do believe that is the meteor that kills all the dinosaurs. Though it may be our fate to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you. Wahaha! With this black tyranno, I can finally exterminate those filthy apes. They both roar in unison. Impressive. Okay, so is it like, you know, second verse, same as the first? Is this guy... Is this guy weak to the electrical powers of the almighty Ayla Volts? You know, bite it? She's gonna bite that giant gargoyle thing. That's pretty hilarious. Anyways. How is that? 24. Okay, that didn't do much. Let's attack Azala. Also doesn't do much. Okay. Oh, and now you're breathing fire like a jerk doesn't do much damage. Psychokinesis? Well. Well, that was an interesting maneuver. I'll give you that much. Hang on, let's try Volt Bite on Azala. You're a reptile, which means you must be weak to electricity all the same. And, I don't know, honestly, I really feel like I should probably take you out first. I mean, it may not seem like the obvious choice, but I, I still feel like that's what we should be doing. Okay, just hack at him. And more fire! Freaking gargoyle that can breathe fire. And a counterattack that really doesn't help much. Okay, uh, teleportation! Teleport the rock! Man, what does this guy got against Frog? What a jerk. Okay, I can't help but notice that none of my moves are really doing much. Um, drill kick, maybe? Use your mighty spin kick! Why Ella needs Chrono's help to do that, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, heal it up, because Frog's been taking way too much damage. So all of his attacks are isolated against that one character. I mean, amphibians and reptiles, I guess they're quasi really Oh, he just ate Frog. And spat him out. Oh! Okay. Um. 
Well, at least it wasn't Frog. That's a step in the right direction, I guess. Take that, you jerk. That must be something I'm missing in this fight. Okay, well, he can heal himself, so really, I still feel like I should probably be taking out Hazala. But my attacks are not doing nearly enough damage. Electricity didn't really seem to do anything. Unless I just wasn't using electricity correctly. Which may not sound like it makes any sense, but I'm still gonna give a shot after he stops throwing Krona around like a- Whoop! Whoop! Sand Splat! Okay. Awesome. Okay. And counterattack. Good job, Krona. Okay. Now, use... Lightning 2. See how that does. Ayla, you just keep on being a badass. Feel Heaven's Wrath! Okay, that did a lot of damage that time, actually. Okay, that's strange. Guess I'll just keep using lightning magic on Azala until it dies, and then we'll just start hacking away at the gargoyle and make no thing. More lightning. Probably should just use lightning one, but I guess I'm not very bright sometimes. It happens. And bada bing bada boom. 326 damage. That's all I really got stacked on with what Frog and Azala are dishing out, which isn't a whole lot, but it's something. We'll just move on to lightning one. Zap it up. Telepathy sleep. Why would you do that? Did it work? It worked. Damn you! Damn you, lizard man! Now it doesn't do nearly enough as much damage. Lame. Okay, Azala. Use heal on frog. Can't believe I'm using Azala as an item user. That's a little weird. Really? Quit chewing on our dang frog friend and healing. I'm not even doing all that much damage to you, really. It's not really worthy of healing yourself for. I mean, come on! And, uh, da heal! Um, you just punch stuff! Oh, dear. I remember there being... S well, it's been a while since I've played Chrono Trigger, obviously. I'm sure you've noticed. But there's, like, a moment when the gargoyle does something, and when you attack it, then it gets crazy weak. I remember that. Like it has a giant glaring error. Okay, lightning. Uh, Ayla, you. Use bubble hit. Why not? Azala, break! HP down! What is this? Oh! Well, that was fun. <laughs> okay, I did very, 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 very little damage and then ran away. And then Ayla body slammed a gargoyle. Because, okay! Removes defense in its. Oh, it removed its defensive powers! Okay. Oh, wait! That's right, now I remember. It like completely gets rid of its defense stat in order to uh, charge up some sort of crazy super move. And then once it uses it, it has all of its defense power back and you just kind of gotta bite your time. So do as much damage as you possibly can. Just hammer away at it. Just keep smacking this thing upside the face like it ain't no thing. Yeah, count you keep on counting down and roaring. You think I care? No, I don't care one thing. Go down. I will keep hitting this gargoyle with medieval weaponry until it just decides to fall over. I've seen games where a frying pan is more than enough to defeat a gargoyle. Granted, it didn't actually defeat it, it just made it laugh and fall off, but that's besides the point. The point is, anything can happen if you believe. Just keep slashing away at it. Just keep going, keep going. Frog, on your next turn, could you use some healing magic? Because once that attack sets off, I think we're probably going to be doomed. So I'd rather be less doomed than, you know, than we typically are, if that's if that even makes sense. It probably doesn't. Don't care. Actually, now that I think about it, now his defense is down, electric attacks will probably do something. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, hang on, hang on. One, yeah, you go ahead and you keep roaring. We're terrified, but we're still gonna keep fighting. Because that's what that's what humans do. Humans and frogs. Okay, now what was I gonna do? Item. Item. Uh mid ether. Chrono, combination, and you Volt by Go! You might be asking, oh, but Max a few trades. Why didn't you just use Lightning too? Well, that's because it doesn't look nearly as cool as an electrocharged Ayla biting a gargoyle. 948 damage! Thank you, and now he's doing this. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. How'd that do? Whoa! Okay. Um. Ayla, use Revive on Frog. Um, use a mid-tonic on yourself, Chrono. Wait casually for a few moments. Just wait, just wait, just 
just wait. Okay, go. And now use Slurp Kiss. Uh, Chrono, you just hack away at it. It probably has its defense stat back, and it stinks, but there's really nothing else we can do about it at the moment. So Ayla will just dance, and then heal us all. And Hacky Slashy! Okay, it's do I think it's doing slightly more damage than it did before. It's something! No, not Ayla! You fiend, let her go! That is... Del that is... Bleh. That is nasty! As nasty as all, get out. Okay, just use that crazy love dance move again. Confuses the hell out of me. Okay, come on, Black Tyranno. You think I fear you? I do not. I mean, I do fear you. I mean, if if I was actually in this game and I was fighting that thing, I would have run away screaming a long time ago. Probably why they would not have recruited me on their, you know, time-saving group. Go, just keep punching it. Yeah, it definitely has less defense than it did before. So that's something. Just keep punching it and slashing it. At least we got all that dent the health that he regained from chewing on Ayla. How exactly does that work? You chew on somebody and you steal their health? How does that work? How does a dinosaur do this thing? A dinosaur gargoyle. Removes defense and destroying power. Okay. Use Volt Bite. Use Leap Slash. Unleash our most powerful abilities, our most devastating techniques. Show the Black Tyranno absolutely no mercy. For that is when it shall, you know... Dang, I almost had an epic speech going on there, but then I completely drew a blank. Thanks a lot, brain. Hey, quit your roaring. Yeah, you rip roaring time. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Keep using the Volt Bite. Uh, attack, d -d 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 -d. just keep leap slashing. Just keep attacking the monster. By the way, someone told me that Magnus had 6666 health. That is hilarious and crazy at the same time. It's the little details that really matter, you know? I've said that more than enough times for a lifetime. I should probably stop saying that so much. Come on! How many times do you really need to punch a gargoyle in the face before it decides to go away? Another question. Could we have defeated this thing before we fought it, defeated Azela? Most likely. But it would have taken a while and probably would have been less practical. Because honestly, Azalea was the one doing the most of the damage anyway. This is pretty much just a tank. It keeps roaring at us! What a jerk! And apparently I... No, that was not a counterattack to the roar. It just seemed like it was. Come on! Die already, you stupid monster! He's just not going down. What a jerk! Sigh! Man, what do I talk about while I'm waiting for this nonsense to finally finish? Thinky, 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 thinky. How are you guys doing, anyway? I'm doing okay. I'm playing Chrono Trigger. It's a pretty fun game. I don't know if you've heard of it. It involves time travel and frogs and cave people. It's pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. Bada bing, bada boom, bada ba ba bow. Uh, where is that stupid slurpy, slurpy love thing? There we go. Okay. And I don't know. Spin cut, because why not? Just do stuff, Chrono. <laughs> That's really the best advice I can give you at this time. Just do stuff. How was that a spin cut? Oh yeah, what? <laughs> and then its face exploded. Oh, and there's Azala. I guess he was underneath it the entire time. All right. I guess we're just letting him leave. Whatever. No, it can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known. We reptiles fought bravely to the bitter end. Ayla, understand. Soon, stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burned out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long, cruel ice age. <laughs> what a treat. You will wish you went along with us. <laughs> Blark. Lavos. Wait, what?
Vela's word. La means fire. Vos means big. Or bug. Ayla! Kino! Hurry! Lavos come soon! Alright, Dactyl! Kino, hurry! Ayla, what you do? Come, Azala, come! Absolutely not! The powers of that bee have spoken! Ayla, hurry! Fine, if you want to die, that's your thing. Zala, me not forget the future. Future? What about future? We have no future. Well, that's pessimistic. Through no fault of Magnus does Lavos live. Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times. I see. So, while well, Magnus was still trying to summon it, he's still a jerk. Lavos huge! Chrono fight it? Well, of course we will. Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. Left unscathed, it will burrow deep within the earth. Best to defeat it now. It's true. Might as well kill it when it's, you know, above ground. Then onwards to Lavos!